Hey guys, what's up? This is Cyber Chaos Crew here. I was writing on the Steam boards, on the Steam First Assault boards, uh, and I saw there was some people posting there about some stuttering lag that they're having with the game. When they're playing the game, sometimes the game starts stuttering for them, or like uh, sometimes when they shoot the guns, uh, the game stutters or freezes for a little, little seconds, little amounts of time. Like it starts going on hiccups or stutters or like freezes up. Uh, and I'm making this video, I decided to make in this video to help you out or at least try to help you out. Uh, because I've had not I've had some some similar troubles, some similar issues. Not in first assault, but in other game, in uh, Blade and Soul, I had an issue like this when I first when I was trying to play Blade and Soul. Uh, before I played it for the first time, when I was setting it up and trying to play it, uh, the first times that I played it, this kind of issue also happened to me, like playing the game and the game. Uh, every like 10 seconds or 15 seconds or maybe a bit more 20 30 maybe uh, every once in a while the game starts to stutter a little bit or like uh, loses some some fps like goes in a fps drop like for a second or two seconds max uh, i think it must be the, the same kind of issue uh, so i was trying a lot of stuff uh, i tried i remember i tried uh, uh, like messing with the graphic with the graphics options in the game in the game menu in the graphic options menu uh, disabled the, all those options the FXAA the MSAA all that stuff the graphic options anti-aliasing anti the, the, the filters all that stuff but nothing of that worked uh, and then I tried I even tried uninstalling the game installing black and uh, Lastly, I did one thing I remember to do was to I had the, the game installed on the on the hard drive on the I have an SSD where the the operating system is installed in the, the, the some of the games from Steam and then I have an, a hard drive an external hard drive where I have some games installed some bigger games like GTA 5 and also uh, some some bigger games because uh, the, the, the SSD that I own is not a very is not a very big one is not a, doesn't have too much capacity. Uh, so I, I had first first uh, I had when I first installed Blade and Soul I had it installed on the on the hard drive because it it, uh, it was like 20, 20 gigabytes of, of space of game uh, files. So I installed it on a hard drive, but then I remembered, oh, maybe, maybe this is a problem. The problem may be, maybe maybe it's because it's installed on a hard drive and not on the main drive, on, on the SSD. So I, I'm gonna try to install on the SSD. And then I installed it on the SSD, I ran the game and it was fine, all right? And I also I saw people on the forums, I, I was reading about stuff that people wrote there about the same problem, having the same problem, and it also worked for them when they installed it on the drive, on the first drive, all right? On the, on the operative system drive. Uh, so I did that and it that worked for me. So maybe this uh, this is uh, the kind. Of, I thought maybe this is uh, related to the issue that you guys are having with first assault. It can be the same thing or not. Uh, so uh, there's that, all right? Because I think uh, sometimes this kind of issue, the stutter stuttering issues, the lag issues, uh, the freezes and stuff. This uh, sometimes it can be related to the to the hard drives, to the me mechanical hard drives uh, to the bus speeds, different bus speeds between the, 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 the mechanical hard drive and the SSD. If you have a system where you're running an SSD as the main drive and then you have a hard drive running as a secondary drive, uh, sometimes there can be uh, this kind of issue when the, the hard drives are transferring files between them because of the different bus speeds. And also uh, there's this, this uh, virtual memory allocation stuff uh, for when you are running a game, I think the game requires some virtual memory to be allocated on the drive and uh, sometimes I think that can be an issue too. Uh, so th this, this, uh, this, uh, uh, this, uh, these features, the, the virtual memory allocation and the mechanical hard drive, I think this, uh, that, that stuff, it can cause issues when you are running the game uh, in some drives or some, some certain systems, all right, certain configurations can be uh, this can have uh, issues while running the game. These kind of issues, all right, with the virtual memory allocation and the mechanical hard drives. So I think the issue must be around those things. I think in well, uh, also 
it can be also a malware related issue so or a, or a, sometimes it can be a direct x issue too or maybe a compatibility issue with some uh, with some devices that you are using maybe your your uh, your sound card or some pro programs audio programs that you might be running on the background all right sometimes there's issues that that uh, also cause the games to stutter or, or to uh, to lag to freeze all right uh, for instance I was having the one of these issues with GTA 5 when I was trying to load GTA 5 for the first time sometimes the menu the menu would uh, stutter or go in hiccups and uh, the, the the loading screen would stay loading forever all right so sometimes it can be a DirectX related program or a malware program too uh, in case you want to try uh, using a malware an anti-malware program I recommend these programs here there's these programs from bleeping computer combo fix in case you are using Windows 7 you can use combo fix uh, in case you are a, or Windows 7 or Windows 8 you can use combo fix in case you are a Windows 10 user you can use this one firebar recovery tool recover firebar recovery scan tool download firebar recovery scan tool you can use this one because this one uh, works with Windows 10. The other one doesn't. Combo Fix just works with Windows XP, Vista 7, 8. Uh, no, wait. This this works with XP, Vista 7, 8, and uh, FRST Firebar Recovery Scan Tool works with Windows 10. All right. Uh, so if you are a Windows 10 user, you can use this one. And uh, they are both programs that scan your computer for malware threats malware uh, malware all right and they uh, if they find the malware they remove it they remove the malware and they also uh, clean your system for and used registry keys all right so this is another issue this that this is another uh, uh, factor that can be causing the, those issues on your on your computer while you are playing first assault so there's the there's the the hard drive bus uh, uh, possibility there's that possibility there's the uh, there's the virtual memory allocation possibility it can be a hard drive related issue so i recommend if you are experienced that issue that you try to uninstalling first assault from the current drive where you have in it installed and try to install it on another drive on your main drive or another drive for instance if you uh, if you are running if you have the game and installed an, on a drive that it's not an SSD try uh, deleting it from that drive and try installing it on on the SSD uh, if you are running the game already on a SSD but if it's not the main drive if it's not the drive where you have the operative system running I also recommend that you try deleting it from that SSD drive and installing it on the main one on the on the one that's running the operative system because sometimes these issues can also happen due to the to the transfer of files between the two the two the two the two drives all right uh, well there's not not with every game happens this but with with first assault it can happen for uh, for some reasons uh, there's games that do, do not really pop these issues like the direct text issues not every game pops those issues but some uh, some games do well i don't know why must be something uh, in the way they're coded or the, something in the way they're they're written. I don't know. Uh, also, there's the direct text, the direct text, uh, the direct text factor. Uh, if you if so, I recommend that. I recommend changing the game from the location where you have it installed into an SSD drive or into the main drive where you have the operative system, and also uh, checking your. In case that doesn't work, you can always check, do this, do this stuff here, try to remove the malware, use these programs to remove possible mal malware or registry key conflicts, and also check if those things doesn't work, you can also check the, the DirectX compatibility, uh, see if there is not a DirectX conflict on your computer. Uh, try disabling your, your voice communication pro programs, like uh, Ventrilo, TeamSpeak, uh, Razorcoms, uh discord uh every program that are, is used to to communicate audio voice over ip 
try disabling all those programs and also your your sound cards one by one your sound devices one by one try disabling them and see if they are uh, the source of the issue try disabling them and then running the game see if the lag, the lag and the starters go away all right so that's it uh, i hope you consider these these uh these these fixes i hope you you give them a go and i hope they work for you and uh i'll see uh don't forget to comment to li like comment subscribe and i'll see you next time all right take it easy